Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus and today I wanted to talk about Doom VFR. If you guys have been following VR Focus, you guys might have noticed during E3 our article was about Doom VFR. We think that this game is absolutely incredible. Bethesda was showcasing three VR games this year at E3. They showcased Skyrim, they showcased Fallout 4 and they also showcased Doom VFR. This is the sequel to the 2016 Doom and last year we tried it out at E3. We weren't very impressed but this this year, everything has changed. Bethesda is really pushing things forward in VR and Doom is a perfect example of that. Sadly, if you're looking for the gory kill animations, that is definitely not possible because you are literally transporting yourself across the map. Of course, you can naturally, you can still do the normal transportation of moving left, right and forward, or you can also teleport. And what is crazy about this game is how incredibly fast you move around in VR. I think maybe, if you're not used to, you know, VR that much, uh, you might feel a little bit queasy at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's really exciting. For me, I tried Doom VFR and I was trying to teleport with my left Vive controller and then I was trying to shoot with my right one. You press down on the right uh, thumb pad. You could change weapons whilst going in slow-mo as well. What's really cool is that once uh, an enemy turns blue, you get to teleport forward and do like an absolute insta-kill and it's it's a huge rush. You don't feel motion sickness at all. And you move around and the only risk that I really had was I was falling off the map because I was both teleporting and shooting and I was viciously teleporting around enemies at the same time and I wasn't looking at where I was teleporting and I fell off a cliff twice. And I also hit the woman that was trying to help me out. But that's besides the point. You get a huge, powerful minigun as well. I didn't get to play that much of it, but from the few minutes that I did, it felt very smooth. I had different weapons to choose from, which I enjoyed. And I think once I get that teleportation stuff, I get, I get it. I think it'll be so much fun. I'll be able to go through and I'll teleport and I feel like a super powerful, human being in a virtual world killing tons of enemies from hell. Who doesn't want that? Anyways, that's what I think of Doom VFR. I really enjoyed E3 and what Bethesda had to show with regards to virtual reality. I think they're really pushing things forward and Doom VFR is a perfect example of that because they seem to have fixed some type of motion sickness problem that a lot of VR games have. Instead of being scared about it, they've just hit it like front on. I don't know what they've done. The teleportation system or your, your way of traveling is just so incredibly fast. They've really hit the problem face on and there wasn't a problem. So definitely try it out if you love Doom, if you love first person shooters. I thought it was really beautiful. And head over to VRFocus.com if you want to hear about more stuff related to VR. Like, share, follow, comment. It's going to be coming to the HTC Vive as well. So if you do have a Vive set up and if you do like first person shooters, this is definitely something that you should try out. And let me know if you feel sick or not. <laughs>